Good morning. I'm kind of glad we make some coffee here. So, first off, you guess what happened in the last uh, yesterday? So, what happened was I had turned on the uh, recording, but forgot to turn on the audio. So, there is no audio. But first off, let me so talk to you guys. Here we go. So, the all the wheat finished up here. Then we ended up moving the auger to the next bin for the canola. And then, I also talked about uh, getting a new grain cart. So he took, unhooked the grain cart, hooked it up to the back of Sir's truck here. We also pulled that out yesterday as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and actually bring that. Go pick up the new grain cart today. So, I think that's really about it that we kind of talked about last time. So, got the fresh washer out too, so it's ready to go whenever... We're ready to go. Just gonna turn these lights off here before we go. Lights don't need to really be on. And uh yeah, we're gonna jump in the truck here, pick up, and uh start it up here. There we go. Being a little grumpy this morning. But anyway, we're gonna get on the road here. Turn the hazards on here. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna hop on the road, and I will probably see you guys there, so. I'm gonna go there, pick up a new cart, and we're gonna come back, and we're actually gonna get started on the harvest, so. Faster than 30, so can I keep it below that? So come on, please. Not faster than 40 kilometers per hour. So so I'm actually gonna turn the camera off so I don't get into trouble with driving down the road with the distracted driving. So. And turn the camera off, and I'll bring you guys back when we get to our destination. See you guys in a hot second. Okay, so I think we're just about here, so... Truck's not doing very good right now. We can make it back. I'm gonna have to reach into the shop here, I think. Bring it into the town and see if the wicked they can do when they look at it, so... He doesn't have the power like it should, so. Here we are, and I think that's our cart right ahead of us, so. I'm just gonna pull up here. Out of the way, kind of. I put myself in a bad position here, but it doesn't really matter. Let's go talk to the guy over here. Hey, how's it going? Yep, here for the cart over there, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Go ahead and take a look at it. See, so that's good for a couple years, though. Okay. You just want to downgrade your cart. Oh, I see. A little bit newer one. Yeah, ours is a little bit newer. Um, yeah. Looks like it's in really good condition. I put a bit of hydraulic load lines. Any issues with the cylinder ring I got? Not many? Okay. Well, that's a little different from ours, but I hope it make a good trade, hopefully, so hopefully it does you well. We did uh, do like, quite a bit of servicing to it this spring for harvest, so see it's got still got the uh diamond treads, but that should be fine. Okay. Yeah. So you're your on your offer there. I can, uh, where do you want to put the cart? Your new cart. Just over there. Just kind of back over here. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, have a good one. Okay, so. We're going to go disconnect, uh, our cart. The old cart here. 
Hopefully the guy really enjoys it, so... Back to sing up here. Can't really see this thing very well. He's got a second guy and wants to get out of a farming a little bit, so he wants to downgrade, so... Tell me just to park this over here, so... at least try to, so that's what we're gonna try to do, so Yo, so I need to turn this truck off because this thing does have I think hydraulics, so turn this off so the hydraulics don't uh, cause issues, so Disconnected here. Oh, the ground looks the ground's a little soft there, so. And then let's go hook up to our uh, new cart here, so. sign to see, but those might be just running lights as well, let's see. No headlights, yeah, those are just running lights. So I guess this one does not have uh, hazards. Here's the other one, but as long as I know what I'm doing, it should be fine. Turn these lights off, there you go. And uh, we'll hit on our way here. She will shortly after 10 by the time I think by the time I get home, so. I know I'm leaving, so. I'm gonna turn the camera off here, and I'm gonna catch you guys uh, when we get back to the farm here. Because uh, this is pretty heavy, and this is gonna take a little bit, so shortly, hopefully, shortly after 10:30. See you guys at the farm. Okay, so it's been a couple hours. Not gonna lie. Um, ended up getting caught up doing some other stuff, and kind of forgot about the camera. So the carts I hooked up to the cart tractor right now, I got the yards, so it's just we're going to do some work on it before we actually do it, do anything with it this year. Then I kind of started thinking, you know what, probably not going to use it this year. I'm not just staying in front of the shop for now. I'll put it away later. Right this guy here. On down the road here to uh, Conola Field. I also, brought, also got the gravity wagon out here as well. So it's just me on the farm today. Dad had to take off and do some stuff today. And I think Jared's gone away for family. So it's all right. So this is it's only a canola, so it won't take too too long to do. So.
Let's see here. There you go. Both having those good there, so. It's not yielding very great though. Yield monitor is saying 5.8 bushels to the acre. So not very good at all. I'm uh, expecting that since the shield really wasn't really taken care of very well, so. Had a lot of weeds in it when it was swathed, so. Probably gonna set up the drone here and I'm gonna do a little bit of harvesting, so. Just stop this here. I'll get the drone out here, so. I also have it up to you. no more. Okay, see you guys in, uh, when I finish up the field. Like we did, so it's always a good sign. Just 
get that all your clothing in. Go. 